Hello, I'm Helen Bradley. Welcome to this video tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to draw a circle of stars or indeed a circle of any sort of set of shapes in Illustrator. Before we get started with this tutorial, let's have a look and see what it is that we're trying to achieve. What I'm going to show you is how you can get this stars on a circular path effect in Illustrator. Now, the reason why I'm using a technique that I'm going to show you is that it will give you control over how these stars are spaced and exactly how many of the stars you have. So you can see it in place as you work. So to get started, let's start with a brand new document. I've created a brand new document here. It's a thousand points by a thousand points, but your document could be any size you like. I've just filled it with a gradient fill so we have a background to work over. And I've locked this background so that now we're working on this new layer that I've just created by clicking the new layer icon. I'm going to start by creating the circle that's going to be the main part of our design. So I'm holding the Shift key as I drag out an ellipse so that it's now filled with my fill color. Now I want it to be filled with this sort of greeny blue color and I want it to have a darker blue stroke. So I'm just going to add a decent sized stroke to this object here. Now it's going to have a second circle in the middle with a star in it. So we're going to do that using the appearance panel. I'm going to take this fill and I'm going to drag and drop it onto that new icon. And of course the appearance panel is accessible through window appearance. Now this second fill is going to have a white fill. Well, it's actually going to be filled with white. So I'm going to click on it and make it white. But it's going to be in the center here. So it's going to be smaller than the outside one. So I'm going to click this fill and choose Effect, Distort and Transform, Transform. And I want it to be, I'm thinking probably about 60% of the size of the original circle. I'll just click on Preview so I can check and see that it, that is about the size I want it to be and click OK. And this circle too is to have a stroke applied to it. So I'm just going to click on Stroke and create a new stroke here. And I want it to be a smaller size. So I'm going to take the transform from this fill. I'm going to duplicate it. And I'm going to drag and drop it onto this stroke. So it's just been resized, this stroke, to exactly the same size as the inner circle. So it's giving us the effect that we wanted without having to do too much work to achieve it. Now I'm ready to do my stars. I've got one star in the middle of my circle, so I'm just going to click on my star tool and let's test this out. Well, it's a five point star and it has radius and points already set up. So I'm just going to click on cancel because that's what I want, but I'd prefer to draw it myself to the size I want. I'm going to deselect the circle that I was working on and let's go and pick up some colors. Now the star in that illustration I showed you had a yellow fill and a maroon sort of stroke and the stroke was probably a bit smaller than 14 points. Let's just go and draw out the star and test it. I'm going to add the Alt key because that gives me this nicer star shape. And I'm also going to hold down the space bar as I just position the star into position and just make sure that it is exactly where I want it to be. I think it's a bit on the big side right now. So let's just test that. And there is my star shape. I think it needs a bit of a thicker stroke. So I'll just click away from it. So there is basically the shape that we came here to create and now we're ready to create just the stars that go around the outside of this shape here. To do that, I'm going to create a circle that I'm going to use to shape my stars. So again with the ellipse tool selected, I'm going to just select the default colors by pressing the letter D. I don't want any fill on this. I'm just going to take the thin black stroke right now and I'm going to draw it out holding the shift key and just position it over the top of the original illustration. So I'm just eyeballing this as being centered here, holding the space bar so that I can move it as I'm drawing it. Let go the left mouse button, let go the space bar and the shift key. So this is the circle I'm going to align my stars up to. 
I'm just going to deselect that right now because I want to go and draw my star. So I'm going to grab my star tool and my stars in the original drawing just were a maroon color. So I'm just going to select that maroon color and I'm just going to draw out the star I want to use holding the alt key so that I get this nicer shaped star. Okay, there's the first of my stars. I'm going to click the selection tool. I'm going to hold the alt key as I drag another star away from the first. So now I've got the two stars that I want to create the stars that are going all the way around this circle. With the first star selected, I'm going to shift click on the second star. So these are both selected now and I'm going to click the blend tool and I'm going to click on the first of the two stars and then the second. If I double click the blend tool at this point, Illustrator tells me what it's doing and right now it's doing a smooth color. Well, I don't want smooth color, I want specified steps. And I've got 11 steps, but let's just bring that down to, for example, six for now. So these are my stars. The only problem is that I want them around the circle shape, not this shape here. Well, it's not possible to put a straight blend of stars onto a circle. What we have to do before we can do that is we have to break the circle up and we just have to make it an open path. The way we do that is by isolating one of these anchor points and just cutting the circle at that point. We're only going to make a snip in it and it's not going to change the circle, but it's going to make it an open path so that we can put our blend onto it. So I'm going to click here on the eraser tool because I want to get to the scissors tool here. And now I'm just going to click on one of the anchor points on this circle. It doesn't matter which anchor point I use, but that breaks this circle apart. So it's now an open path and not a closed path. Now with this circle selected and my blend selected, I'm going to shift click on it. I can go to object blend replace spine and what that does is it puts my stars on the spine that I've created, this circle that I've created for my stars. The only problem being I don't have enough stars right now. Well that's easily solved. I'm going to double click on the blend tool because that reopens the blend that we've got. I'm going to click on preview. We're still on specified steps but I want more of these stars. So I'm just going to increase the value here and I can keep increasing it until I've got as many stars as I want. And when I'm happy with what I've got, I'm just going to click OK. So that's how you can create a series of stars producing as many stars as you want and controlling the spacing manually by creating a blend of stars and then opening up a path. If it's a closed path, open it up. If it's not, you could just use any path that is an open path and just use that replace spine option to bring your blended shapes onto that path. Now I use stars. You could use little boxes, dots. You could use any shape that you like for this blend. I'm Helen Bradley. Thank you for joining me for this video tutorial. Look out for more tutorials here on my YouTube channel and consider subscribing to my channel and you'll be alerted when new videos are released. And visit my website at projectwoman.com where you'll find more tips, tricks and tutorials on a range of applications including Photoshop, Lightroom, Illustrator and a whole lot more.